signed by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Joe Eppy and Johnny Dran. The timekeeper, Fred Abatello. Counting for the knockdowns, referee Petey Della. And the referee for the main event, Arthur Mercanti. Fifteen rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Introducing from the Bronx, he's wearing green trunks. He weighs 160. The challenger, Joey Archer. His opponent from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, he's wearing red trunks, he weighs 152, the middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Here are the instructions from the referee, Arthur McCanty. Good evening, Emil and Joey. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. Let's briefly review some of the more important rules. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in any given round will automatically end the contest. When I say break, break, there'll be absolutely no holding. Is this understood? All right, good luck to both of you. Shake hands now. With the two judges and the referee voting, a supplementary point system is used if the rounds come out even on an official card. The count, if a man is knocked down at or near the bell, well, the count will continue until he rises or is knocked out except for the bell for the 15th and final round. It is scheduled for 15 rounds. If you are watching in color, Emil Griffith, the champion, is wearing the red trunk, bright red, and Archer, the Kelly Green trunk. If you are wearing in black and uh, watching in black and white, the trunks of Griffith, who was the shorter of the two, are just a little bit darker. The last time they fought in uh, July, it was a divided decision. The referee voting for a draw, the judges voting for Emil Griffith. That was on a night when it was 95 degrees in New York. Tonight, the weather is more pleasant. Griffith has been taught to keep those hands high, close to his body. Archer has a beautiful left jab. Archer the better boxer of the two. Griffith by far the better hitter. At least that's what the reports say. Neither boy has fought since the last, last July 13th. And this fight was postponed twice. Last time Archer got off to a slow start, finished fast. Griffith is one of the fine fighters of this generation. A three-time welterweight champion and uh, winner of the middleweight championship from Dick Tiger last year. The pattern of the fight is quite evident. It's going to be Archer's left jab against Griffith's solid punches. That was Griffith's left hook. That did not land. A minute left in this round. If a cut comes to either fighter, it's more than likely it will come to Archer, who has been cut in the past. When we get a chance, we'll give you the records of the two fighters. They are both good. Archer's starting faster than he did last time. Ten seconds left in round one. Oh, 
Emil Griffith has had 59 fights. He has 151, lost seven, one no contest, 18 knockouts, and stopped once by Hurricane Carter. Archer varying his style to slug with the champion. Archer in the green trunk and Griffith in the red trunk. Archer is beating Griffith to the punch so far. Archer has had 49 fights, winning 46, losing three decisions. He has never been knocked out. And he has scored nine knockouts. Two minutes left in round two. Now Griffith scored with a terrific left hand of the body. That could take its toll later. Archer on the left, Griffith on the right. Archer sagged with one knee, may have been off balance, it was not called a knockdown. Archer is very red around the right eye. One minute left in round two. Griffith has landed heavily in this round. Arthur McCanty, the referee. Archer has a slight cut to the right of the right eye. And it's a little early in the fight to get a cut. With 13 rounds to go if it goes the limit. Archer is also very puffy under the right eye. Archer could have made a mistake in trading blows with Griffith. Ten seconds left in this round. <laughs> Emil Griffith with his back to us. Joey Archer now has his back to us. He's the challenger from the Bronx. If you see flashes on your screen, don't be alarmed. Those are the flashlights turned on by the many photographers here at Madison Square Garden. Pictures you'll see in your local papers tomorrow. Archer beat Griffith to the punch. We're going to have to watch that puffiness below Archer's right eye. It could obscure his vision later. It could also open a severe cut. Griffith landed one good one and then uh, one grazing punch. At 152 pounds, the champion Griffith is a very strong individual.
They wrestle around for a, a better position. Nothing happens. The pace slows down a little bit. Archer scores on the inside with 10 seconds left to go in this round. Middleweight championship out. Emil Griffith, the champion in the bright red trunks, if you're watching in color. Challenger Joey Archer in the Kelly Green. Arthur McCanty in the background is the referee. Watching in black and white, Archer is the taller of the two. Let's have to keep reminding you of the puffiness below the right eye of Joey Archer in case anything happens. He got that around the second round when he slugged with the champion. A little bit of a dipsy do by Challenger Archer, but no damage done. Solid tabs by Archer. <laughs> Round four is half over. I don't know whether Griffith was holding Archer up or trying to push him down, but he was very gentlemanly about it. You can almost see that Griffith has something on his mind that he wants to do, but Archer's jab is keeping him off balance, at least in this round. Archer must have uh, an old pair of shoes on. He's slipping all over the place. They're milling in Griffith's corner. the fourth headlock that Archer has scored. Ten seconds left in this round. Don Dunphy ringside of Madison Square Garden, round five. A crowd of more than 17,000 for this middleweight title bout. Champion Emil Griffith with his back to us. Joey Archer, the challenger. even exchange there. Archer is putting a little more power in his jabs than he did the last time. 
Griffith is fighting as usual, steady, careful, good fight. He knows it's for 15 rounds or less. Now, Archer seems to have gotten his boxing rhythm. He's also got a mean mouse under his right eye, which Griffith gave him in the second round. We'll take a look at the fighters after this round is over. In the corners, that is. Arthur McCanty getting them apart. Ten seconds left in this round. Now we go to the corner of the middleweight champion, Emil Griffith. That's Joey Archer there, his Griffith. Facing him is his co-manager, Gil Clancy. On the left, the other co-manager, Howard Albert, and his popular handler, Sid Martin. Griffith was born in the Virgin Islands February 3rd, 1938, eight days before Joey Archer was born. Griffith, the three-time welterweight champion, and now defending the middleweight champion for the second time. On the other side of the ring, the challenger, Joey Archer. With him and his in the ring are facing him head on, his trainer, Freddie Brown. On the left, Pat Calavito. On the right, his brother manager, Jimmy Archer. Joey was born February 11th, 1938, in New York City. A fine challenger. <laughs> Round six at Madison Square Garden. At this stage of their last fight, Griffith was way ahead. At this stage tonight, the fight is fairly even. It is scheduled for 15 rounds. Griffith is back to us, Archer facing us. Griffith is five, seven and a half. Archer is five feet 10. Archer weighs 160 after sweating off a pound and a quarter at the scales today. Griffith weighs 152, eight pounds under the middleweight limit. Griffith won the middleweight ti title from Dick Tiger, who then turned and won the light heavyweight title from Jose Torres. <laughs> Arthur McCanny gets him apart with two minutes left in the round. Now, Archer has to be uh, careful of that mouse under the right eye. He's got to be very careful of shoulders and elbows and the clinches, even accidentally. <laughs> Archer's short with those leads. Griffith is a two-fisted fighter. Archer relies mostly on the left jab, sometimes the left hook. He has a good right hand, but he uses it sparingly. One minute left in this round. Archer beating Griffith to the punch.
That's headlock number five for Archer. Archer may have hurt Griffith a little bit. Griffith looks as though he's trying to get in and hold for a moment or two to get a breathing space, which is quite unlike Emil. Ten seconds to go on the round. Round seven of Madison Square Garden. Referee Arthur McCann, he gets him out of a quick clinch. Archer on the right, Griffith on the left. Between rounds, Griffith got quite a talking to from his manager and trainer, Gil Clancy. That usually spurs Griffith on when that happens. A very solid thump to the body with the left hand by Griffith. And that was a hard left hook by Archer. Archer has changed his style now. They are both working the body. Archer is starting to move right to left, right to left, instead of in and out. See Archer trying to move his head away to protect the mouse under his right eye. Archer had a slight cut on his nose. In the second round, he had a cut beside the right eye, but they seemed to have patched it pretty good. You notice him on the inside, he tries to protect the mouse under his right eye. Fighting a shorter man, he's in jeopardy of being butted accidentally. Ten seconds left in round seven. Griffith finished that round with a big rally. There are many celebrities here tonight. There you see the manager of the ex-manager of the New York Mets, the Hall of Famer, Casey Stengel, looking away from us. He's with Harold Weissman, the publicity director of the New York Mets. Casey's looking the other way. Among other celebrities in the place, Jim Farley, Ed Sullivan, Jack O'Brien, Uncle Milty Milton Burl, and there's Louis Satchmo Armstrong. See him there behind the policeman, over the policeman's left shoulder. Louis Armstrong, a very interested spectator at this very fine championship fight tonight between Griffith and Archer, the policeman keeping the celebrity seekers away. You just saw the ice pack applied to Joey Archer's right eye. Don Dunphy at ringside, Madison Square Garden, round eight. Emil Griffith had a good round in round seven. Griffith on the left, Archer on the right. Archer back to steering with that jab.
Griffith has been told to come in a little bit faster and not wait for Archer to lead. He's starting to press a little more. When he does, though, he's liable to leave himself open for that sharp jab of Archer. About a schedule for 15 rounds. Archer scored well to the body that time. Two minutes left in this round. That was a solid hook by Griffith. He missed a follow-up left, but scored with a smashing right to the jaw. And Archer had to hold on. See Griffith coming in faster now. He has been told not to let Archer set the pace. Griffith is now trying for knockout punches. Archer takes a good punch, by the way. In the past, he has stood up under punches by Hurricane Carter and Dick Tiger and Griffith. One minute left in round eight. Archer is holding on. He's got Griffith's right arm wrapped. For the moment, anyway, Griffith's strength seems to be turning the fight his way. Solid punches by the champion. Ten seconds left. Round nine of Madison Square Garden, the middleweight championship out. Archer, the challenger on the left. Griffith, the solid sending champion. Griffith came on fast in the last two rounds after a sluggish start. Arthur McCanty, a fine referee, gets them apart. Punch just about got in there by Griffith. Notice what a quick right hand he has, however. Griffith is now getting away with those sneak right hands on Archer. With two minutes left in this round. Archer was staggered for a moment by that punch, but he came back fighting. No question, Griffith is hitting harder. There have been no knockdowns. McCanty won Griffith for hitting behind the neck with the rabbit. Griffith is not letting Archer set himself anymore. He's moving in quickly.
30 seconds left in this round. A fine counter punch by Griffith. Ten seconds left in the round. <laughs> round ten of the 15 round bout for the middleweight championship of the world. The champion, Emil Griffith, holding Archer against the ropes. Now on the left, Archer on the right. No knockdowns so far. Archer could have been ahead after the first five rounds, but Griffith has come on like a locomotive in the last five. So now we come to the final five. with a good flurry. Arthur McCanty refereeing. That was one of the fine exchanges of the fight. It was over in Griffith's corner. Griffith has been a fine champion. He'll fight anybody, anytime. Archer is boxing very well in this round. Joey Archer, I'd like to, if Freddie Brown, his trainer, would move over, I'd like to show you that mouse under the right eye. He has had it since the second round, and they keep working on it, sometimes with the ice pack. Pat Calavito is about to put the pack to the eye now, but it has not gotten any worse. There's the pack being applied as Jimmy Archer, the brother, looks on from the right-hand side. In the second round, that... Mouse was just as bad as it is now. Here we are coming up to round 11. It is amazing that it has gotten no worse. Maybe a testimony to uh, Archer's fine boxing ability. It has been a grueling fight, a fine fight, much more spectacular than their fight last July. Round 11 at Madison Square Garden. Champion Emil Griffith on the right, forcing Archer to the ropes. Five rounds to go, 11 through 15. These are the rounds that will answer the story of this fight, which is fairly close.
Griffith has his left hand way down low now, which is unusual for him. I've never seen Angle with the left down there. He's gone to jabbing with it. He usually keeps both hands up high. That's a new maneuver. And it's bothering Archer. It's probably bothering Gil Clancy, Griffith's manager, too. Hey, Griffith with that left hand down below the hip. I've never seen him do that before in, in maybe 30 or 40 fights. One minute to go in round 11. Griffith is showing that he's got a pretty good jab, too. And Archer is trying to figure this out. Archer coming on again. Ten seconds left in the round. Let's stay in the corner of the middleweight champion, Emil Griffith. I'd like to know what Gil Clancy, the trainer manager, is saying to him now as Sid Martin rubs off his face. There's Gill, he's gesticulating. See him out in front of Griffith. Howie Albert is on the left-hand side. Howard is the co-manager, a milliner who turned uh, Griffith into a boxer, and one of the best boxers of our generation. Clancy is very calm about the whole thing, so is Griffith. Warning buzzer for round 12. John Dunphy at ringside, Emil Griffith on the right. Archer with his back to us. Arthur McCanny gets them apart. Round 12, there have been no knockdowns. In a matter of cuts, Archer was slightly cut on the by the left or by the right eye once and on the nose once, but neither is troubling him at the moment. Griffith seems to be unmarked. Griffith is now winding up with his punches. Apparently disdainful of uh, Archer's punching power. A fine bit of boxing by the challenger. That's Archer. And hard hitting by Griffith, the champion. Archer holding on. Archer seemed to be staggered and then slipped, but he's up, uh, up now. He didn't go down. That's twice in the fight that Archer was rocked. He 
should have been off, off balance from the water near his corner. One minute left in round 12. Good boxing by both in this round. Ten seconds left in the round. <laughs> round 13 in Madison Square Garden. A crowd of more than 17,000 in attendance for this middleweight championship bout. Archer the challenger. On the left, Griffith the champion. Archer speeds up the pace. There have been no knockdowns if you joined us late. Thirteen is half over. A big right hand by Griffith. One minute to go in the round. Some very fine boxing by Archer there. And a thumping right that caught Archer on the way in, thrown by the champion Griffith. left in the round. <laughs> Only two rounds left in the fight, rounds 14 and 15. There's a shot of both corners, and here we are in Joey Archer's corner once again. Pat Colavito on the left still has that ice pack. By the right eye of the challenger, Joey Archer, who has never been stopped in a boxing contest. He is up against a fine champion, though, Emil Griffith, whose title is on the line in this match tonight. And these last two rounds could be very, very decisive.
Griffith off his tool first. Round 14. Arthur McCanny, the referee. Nobody's been knocked down. When the boys get inside now, they they wrestle, they wrestle to get the better hold. A good surge by Griffith that time. There are two minutes left in this 14th round. And now Archer does the holding. Archer's right hand has been conspicuous by its absence, to use the old cliché. He has a good right, as I told you earlier, he rarely uses it. He has a fine left hand. Griffith, on the other hand, is a two-fisted fighter. One minute to go in round 14. Archer keeping Griffith off balance with the jab. Archer short with those long punches. Ten seconds left in this round. There's a long distance shot of the ring in Madison Square Garden and part of the fine crowd that is here tonight. The crowd has uh, been officially announced as around 15,000. We thought there were more and there may be when they make a a secondary count. The gate receipts are about $25,000 more than the previous fight between Griffith and Archer last July. The receipts, $127,119, plus a lot of money from television. There's Griffith, of course. He'll get the champion's end. We're coming up to the 15th and final round. Griffith making a sturdy defense of the middleweight championship. <laughs> Referee Arthur McCanty has them touch gloves. Griffith on the left. Now Griffith is back to us. Archer on the right. Don't save anything, boys. This is it. The scoring in New York, I repeat, is by the two judges and the referee. It's on a round basis. 
If a round comes out even on an official's card, a supplementary point system is used. It is possible for the fight to end in a draw. If it ends in a draw, Griffith still would be champion. Less than two minutes remaining in the fight. We'll have an interview with the winner of the fight right after it's over, after the decision is announced. This has been a bruising, fast, and to me, spectacular fight all the way. Less than a minute to go in this 15th and final round. getting a big hand. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Listen to that ovation. Here's Johnny Yaddy with the decision. Referee Arthur McCanty and Judge Johnny Dran both score it Eight, six, one even, favor of Griffith. Amy Joe Eppy, the other judge, the scores it. Eight to seven, Griffith, the winner by unanimous decision, and still middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith in a very, very close fight defends the middleweight championship of the world successfully from Joey Archer. And I, we don't have much time here. We're trying to get Griffith to our cameras and microphones. Amos seems to be upset about something, for which I'm truly sorry, because he's a fine fighter. Hey, Sid. Sid, will you tell me what ruffled the champion? Here's well, Sid Martin. Uh, Freddie Brown, Archer's trainer, was very belligerent all the way through. Listen. Emil went over and tried to be cordial like a sportsman. Fred resented and made a remark at uh, Emil. Listen, will you tell Emil we got a, uh, about one minute? Yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> I know Emil was upset about something, and there's no question about it. John Condon has him for the Virgin Islands. We'll give him back to John. Amo, first of all, congratulations. You're really a great champion, no question. But what's the matter? Oh, well, I went over to shake his hand, and uh, he walked he away from me. This isn't hand. Joey. Joey walked away? Yeah, this isn't him. And he gets doesn't very... seem like him, does it? No. But it was a good fight, you know. I always say to Joey, you can't win a fight running away from me. you got to come to me once in a while. And... Did you tell him that now? No, no. I, wanted... oh. I didn't tell him nothing. Let me tell you, the last time I fought Joey was a wonderful fight. It was a better fight than this one. Do you think you might fight him again? Well, I would like to fight him again. I don't care. This is a good, good fight, big crowd, good yeah, money. Not, Why not? Not the money alone. Say, I got too much pride, you know what I mean? I know you have, Emil. You're, you're a true sportsman. You give everybody a chance, and you're very that's right. fair. That's why, we, that's why I'm a fighting and champion. And it was a good fight. He has Thank no you. apology to make for his fighting, though. Whatever no, he else. can't make no apology now, so he can't send it wrong. No, I if mean he, he fought a good fight. If he that bad, you should come right. a little harder and get it. Thank you very much, Thank Emil. You. Good luck to you. Hey. Yep. Emil Griffith. The middleweight champion of the world who still retains the middleweight title in a fine fight here at Madison Square Garden.
It's been a pleasure for RKO General and Madison Square Garden Sports Presentations to bring you this middleweight bout. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. A shot at the lightweight title awaits the winner of tonight's 10-round bout of Madison Square Garden between Carlos Ortiz and Paulo Rossi, both of the Bronx, New York. Ortiz, who was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, 25 years ago, is the number one contender for Joe Brown's lightweight crown. The former junior welterweight champion, Ortiz is a fine boxer and a solid hitter. His seven-year mark shows 34 